My name's Simon Horner. I'm the head of science at MPW College in London. I run the medical program at MPW and have been supervising students' medical applications for the last seven years. I've also co-authored MPW's Getting Into Medical School Guide. In this video, I will be giving you guidance on how students should apply to medical schools in England. There are differences between the, the medical courses in the UK. Uh, there, are, there are three major types of course and we advise students to apply to the courses which they would have, I think they would prefer that style of teaching. And there's the traditional courses where the, you know, the first few years are sort of lecture based and they start to see patients later on in the course. There's the problem based learning where they study uh, the theory as well as the clinical aspects from, from day one and there's an integrated, the third type, which is sort of a mixture of the, the two. Personal statements for medical school do have a, a standard form. Um, students initially start with why they like to become a doctor, why they like to study medicine. It's then followed by uh, their work experience, what they've learned from it, maybe how their A-levels that they've studied have linked into um, their work experience and, and why they want to become a doctor. And then the last one, um, the last major paragraph is well, their extracurricular activities and what they've been involved in, how that relates to medicine, followed by a, a short concluding statement. The key points students should include in their personal statement uh, include things like uh, determination to succeed, uh, teamwork, communication skills and even things like stamina and fitness because obviously being a young you know, junior doctor there are many hours and, and physical fitness is very very important. The major point that, that students should have in their personal statement uh, is really their work experience. All the students applying are going to have or potentially have very 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 good grades it's, it's the work experience that's really going to determine whether they're going to get a, an interview and then and potentially be a place. So the work experience has to be clearly laid out and what they've learnt from it is the really, really important thing. There's a whole variety of work experience that students can participate in to enhance their application. The best work experience that students get is that that they, they have found out for themselves and they are volunteering. It, it is it's sort of get your hands dirty type work experience is, is the one that medical schools primarily like. Now the main subjects that medical schools require are biology and chemistry. Um, uh, another subject could be math, could be anything really, but those are the, those are the two main ones. Medical schools require students to have grade A's at least. Um, for example, UCL might require A stars, but um, grade A's at a minimum. Uh, there may be some um, AS exams where they accept a B as, a, as their full subject, but otherwise grade A's at least. And then it's primarily based on their, their personal statement and, and uh, other non-academic aspects. The UK CAT and BMAT are two admissions tests that the different medical schools use. Students should prepare rigorously for, for both tests. Although they're both different, they both require uh, lots of preparation. Um, here at MPW, we um, bring in an external company to train the students for the UK CAT. Um, is a whole day's training and we recommend the students here don't apply to take their UK CAT test um, until they've gone through the training here with us. The BMAT we bring in uh, a doctor from outside who's been very successful for the last few years who prepares the students for the BMAT and then obviously the students sit here, uh, sit the exam here with all the other students in the country doing the same test. Medical schools interview students as just another one of their selection processes. They have thousands of applications um, each year. Um, obviously the personal statement is their first line of filtering out the students and then of course the ones they like they will then meet to make sure they have the personality uh, to, to meet the criteria to become a doctor. Different medical schools have different interviews. Many of them are, are moving from the traditional sort of one-on-one -on -one, group to one type interview to these what they call MMIs which are these uh, multi-mini interviews where they, it, it's, it's like a it's like a speed dating way of getting into medical school where there'll be different stations where students are passed around and asked questions on different topics. So there is a variety and um, you need to prepare yourself or we will help you prepare for the different interviews at the different medical schools. Students are asked a variety of questions at medical school interview. A favourite one is why become a doctor, why study medicine, which students should obviously know very well because it's often the first line of their personal statement and they should know that answer anyway. The current issues in the National Health Service are a, a favourite topic as well as things like common diseases, you know, think things like obesity. To prepare for a medical interview, students have to be fully in tune with their own personal statement because questions could be asked about that. They must be fully aware of recent issues going on in the National Health Service and be able to discuss those. I think the medical schools are looking for 
for students who, who show the desire um, and the application. And I think it's very important these students are able to uh, formulate an argument um, on, on topics maybe they don't know very much about. But the ability to, the ability to communicate and think, uh, think on their feet is, is very, very important. We use a panel of doctors uh, who come in and actually interview our students as a, as, as a mock process, if you like. Um, and we will have various members of staff acting as members of the university faculty. Uh, we film the students during their interview, play it back to them, um, give them the odd shock, um, and we use that as a, as a training procedure um, before they go off to medical school and do it uh, properly. Here at MPW we're, we're very successful. I mean, last year we got 80% of our students who wanted to apply to medicine actually into medical school, which we're very pleased with. I hope that the advice given in this video will help your medical school application and we'll wish you all the best in the future.